At a time when India's defence sector is being asked to scale up research and development and efforts are underway to make the sector increasingly self-reliant, NDTV speaks to one of the private defence players to understand the challenges and the future outlook for the sector. The defence sector has clearly witnessed a challenging time in the midst of the pandemic um, where uh, you know other sectors like IT and so on could work from home. The defence sector really could not and was on the move even in the midst of the pandemic. So could you take us through some of the challenges during the pandemic that you feel the defence sector in India has witnessed? Uh, such a good question and uh, I, I must tell you that uh, uh, all of us in industry are extremely grateful and I am using that word for a reason. The openness with which we found the ministry actually coming multiple steps forward. The states wanting to enable us to keep on performing. India is today exporting worth 11,000 crores in the defence sector. If I were to ask you, maybe an approximate estimate, where do you see India's exports in the next five years? The government of India has a very clear plan to take this current 11,000 crores but for small amount of reductions because of the pandemic to 35,000 crores when we see 2025-26. So we see that it's tripling, little more than tripling over next just about four financial years and that's an opportunity which is granted to the industry. Great target there for manufacturing and for exports in the defence sector. Also a clear I think messaging that imports really need to substantially come down for the defence sector in the country. So in the next five years, where do you see the picture as far as imports are concerned for certain defence equipment? See, when uh, you look back five years, uh, we typically used to have about uh, more than, little more than 60% uh, imports of our defence budget, bulk of it was going towards that. Today we are somewhere about 65% indigenous we, and it's only going up. By the time we see that 25, 26, we believe we probably would have reached somewhere very close to about 75, 80 percent indigenous content. So that's essentially where it's moving.